Good evening, Andrea from Chasing Whimsy. I'm going to show you how to do color overlays on your wings or anything else you might want to do a color overlay on. I sometimes do this on my wings and just to add a little bit of interest because they're white and maybe I want to give some more color to them. So this is one way to do it. There's many ways to do it, but essentially you're going to have to select the area you want to affect and then I'll just show you one way that you can do these. So I'm going to duplicate my layer first just because I like doing that. And I'm doing something different. And then choose whatever your favorite selection tool is. Just a quick selection tool will work fine. This can be just a very rough selection or a relatively rough selection because you're going to be putting a mask on it and you can refine it later. So get the basic gist of your wings. With this tool, there's pluses and minuses if you need to add or subtract. And then here I'm adding to it where I needed to. Um, bit of adding here. And we'll fix the top part of that with the mask afterwards. So once you've got it selected, you are then going to go down here to the masking the dot in the middle of the square and put a mask on that. Now, what that's done is you can see only the area that we've selected with the wings is going to be affected by what we're doing. So it just makes it simple to do that. So then you want to. From there, because you have it selected in a mask, you could just go up here to the gradient, pick a couple colors out of your picture as your foreground and background, and then just draw a gradient right over, and it would just affect that area. So you'd have full control that way. You can go down to your adjustment layers, and you can choose either a gradient map or the gradient here to do the same thing. But I'm going to show you using the layer styles, because it's just a, a quick way to do it with lots of control and ability to adjust in there. So we're on this layer with the mask. We're going to double click that to bring up the layer style menu and then go to gradient overlay and check that. And you can see it's just this is the area that we've selected so it's only affecting that. Click on the gradient there and this is where you can choose your colors. I'm just going to grab one of the standard colors that comes in there. This one just to show you. Click OK. You can adjust the colors down here as well same way as you would if you chose your own colors. If you want to pick colors out of your image, you just click on the stop and go down here to the color and select them. So you can make your own gradients that way. And then once it's on there, you can, I'm starting with linear just to show you this. Um, this is where you are now playing with it. So on normal, it's going to be totally opaque. Whenever I'm going over something white, one of my favorites to use is multiply because it just, it allows the texture and everything to show through while it's, just sort of tinting the white as there. And then you just want to adjust your opacity to where you want it to be. So here's with nothing. Bring it up. This is full, which is too dark on this image. So somewhere maybe in here, just a little hint of color. You can also um, play with the angle here. So this is just straight up. This is the, the gradient that we're using. So it has all these colors in it. We're only seeing a couple of the colors. So the way that you to show this, to remove this, is going to show more of different parts of the colors. Here we got some more pink coming into it. And then the scale as well shows more or less of that gradient, depending on where you want it to be. You can see. So you have lots of ways to play with how it's going to look. You can also go to the radial gradient, for instance. So this is actually going to take it as if the color was starting from the center here, you can see how this would be a circle. The colors are going out this way. So that gives you another way to adjust the colors. And then again, slide the scale by how much of it is showing. So maybe you want mostly pink with a little bit of blue tip. And then again, you would adjust your opacity for what you want with that. Um, so just different ways. The radio and the linear are probably the two that I use the most when I'm doing this. And then play with other modes you can try. Your color burn gives you a totally different look. It's very deep. Um, just kind of does the shadows more than anything, which may work on that image, depending on the image. Um, screen is really light, which I don't know how well that would work with these, actually. But again, it depends on your image. The overlay and soft light modes work as well. You'll get different sort of looks. Just play with them. Just try which ones. Sometimes you might want them really bold. Maybe you'll use vivid light or hard light. 
again, depending on how much sparkle and color. There's not a whole lot of color in this image, so I probably wouldn't use those ones. I wouldn't use this color wings either. I'm just trying to show you to make it really obvious what you can do with it. But that's how you do it. You select it, come in here to the gradient overlay after you've masked it. And once you're happy with how it looks, then you can just come back in and just fix up your mask anywhere that you need to touch up that you missed. I know that I didn't go all the way up here. So just click on your mask and with your regular black and white brush, you can add in the color where it needs to be added or subtracted. If you've gone over anywhere, you can just have it here. I need to add a little more down here. And I've gone over too far, so I'm going to erase it in there. Just clean up all your edges so they're nice and soft looking. That is, again, you can always go back in and adjust because it's a just a layer effect there. So there's before and after, which you're adding in color overlays on your wings.